gathered here are technocrats, operators, regulators, and other participants from the investment, securities, and commodities ecosystem. They want to be part of history as the Senate Committee on Capital Markets repeals and reenacts the 17-year-old Investment and Securities Act. Fintech has caused a lot of disruptions in the capital market in recent years, such that digital asset platform are fast gaining ground as a critical aspect of the capital market ecosystem. We are taking a bold step towards modernizing our financial markets, fostering transparency and enhancing investor confidence. Reviewed fairness of mergers and acquisitions of public companies and prevent and sanction unauthorized and illegal dealings in securities and investment schemes. While participants at the public hearing highlighted benefits of the proposed legislation, some suggested changes in some sections. It was important to deal with certain critical issues in the capital market that usually leads to collapse of the market. Issues relating to takeovers, mergers, corporate restructuring. Under both year 2020, Central Bank has been given powers on those issues as far as banks and other financial institutions are concerned. Most of the money that we are talking here belong to Nigerians for which government is begging to use for development resources. If we give government power as person who goes there to borrow, where is the independence of this institution? What offenses are specific to the capital market and which falls within the purview of the Investment and Securities Tribunal? We need to define that. The aggregate of all inputs the committee assures will be scrutinized and considered on merits, 